Slow internet not only is frustrating for consumers, but it's bad for the state's economy. It's true. The state says the better internet access we all have, the better it'll be for growth. Tonight, our Steve Sprasia tells us the North Carolina wants to partner with you to figure out where there's broadband internet access and where it needs to be. With advances in technology, high speed internet has become a way of life. And the state of North Carolina wants to know if you have it and if you're getting what you paid for. The browner color or hue is um, higher speed ranges. This map is supposed to show the speed of internet access in every corner of the state, but it's incomplete. What we want to do is get more data, more neighbors to fill in, and that color may change. With better information comes better service. We want to get better data so we can go back to the FCC and tell them, hey, sure, your data says that the census block is served, but less than, let's say, 25% of the people are actually getting service. On your own from the age of 15. High-speed internet. It's necessary for more than just streaming movies or video games. It is crucial to the state's economy. As we lay that infrastructure, the businesses will come, and we can lay that out for our economic growth. And high-speed internet is also necessary in schools. We have the ability to search, do research quicker. You can access the map on your home computer or on your mobile device. To do a speed test, check your internet access or add your own data. One of the problems right now is there are large portions of the state without high-speed internet access. What we're trying to do is figure out, okay, where are the locations that don't have service or who's not getting the speeds that the providers are telling them they should be getting. Which is why North Carolina needs more people to report exactly what kind of internet access they have so they can improve service for everybody. The state's goal is for everyone to have broadband access in four years by 2021. Now, if you want to get to that map we've been talking about, it's very easy. All you have to do is go to the bottom of my web story. I've included a link right there. I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS North Carolina.